What's up everyone? Welcome back to another web design trends video for the year of 2015. My name is Garrett and let's talk about some web design trends. So in this video, we're going to be talking about graphical uh, representation. So if you remember last year and even the year before that in 2013, uh, a lot of um, a lot of websites started using more graphics, um, and that was kind of part of uh, part of flat design. As flat design got bigger, we started using more and more um, Photoshop created graphics to represent what we were the message that we were trying to convey to the user. So in this video, I'd like to show you guys uh, four websites that do an excellent job of um, of graphical representation. The first one is Audi. Uh, the car manufacturer for their car, the Audi TT, uh, if it would work, that would be excellent. Uh, but what they've done is they have come up, we'll just, let's click on, okay, I don't know what just happened, but, um, yeah, let's see what this does. What they've done basically is they've kind of, they kind of put a car in the front and then they allow you to kind of check different aspects of it out. For example, whatever I just clicked on, I really have no idea, but um, they do a really good job of graphically representing their car, what their car is about, and different aspects of their car. Also note another web design trend that they're using here, which we're going to talk about in a later video during this series, is uh, background video. So instead of just using big pictures, which a picture speaks a thousand words, it definitely does, but they instead use video. Uh, they use pictures too, but they incorporate video a lot into what they're trying to do. This isn't exactly working the way I'd hoped. So let's move on to the next one. So these guys here, um, they create online forms for everyone. And what they've done is, let's see what happens when we scroll down. So at the top, um, their thing is that they are online forms for everyone. So what they have is they have a bunch of people here showing that it's for all different types of people. And then as you scroll down, they do an excellent job of using graphics. Now they use flatter graphics, which is the common trend now. But they do an excellent job of using graphics nevertheless to show what you can do with their platform and what they're all about. Next is um, this design studio that specializes in brand experience design. And they do an excellent job of, show, uh, whoops, of showing uh, the process to get from point A to point B and what they're capable of doing. And they do a really, really good job of telling a story um, with some really cool creative and fun graphics. So this next website, um, don't focus on the actual center part. The only thing I want you guys to focus on is up here, these icons up here. Um, so what they've done is actually really, really cool because instead of for their navigation bar, instead of just having something simple like the words, um, what you know they're calling the pages, they actually have graphical icons to go along with uh, what they're trying, what they're, you know, what the page is. Um, which I think is really really cool because generally like I said you really only see the words So I think it's awesome that they're using icons to graphically represent what the page actually is So as always, thank you for watching guys. My name is Garrett with code the web uh, If you guys want to subscribe which you definitely should then click right there on the screen Also, if you're interested in seeing any other videos that you might not be able to find otherwise click somewhere around there they'll be there um, also down in the description is links to Twitter and Facebook you should definitely follow and like us over there because I have some content that I put up there that I don't put um, on YouTube so once again thanks for watching subscribe and uh, peace